very, very proud of the team. This was a tough opponent, a good opponent for us to start out with. We knew they would come out and really be aggressive and hit shots. They have some transfers, obviously, that we've seen before at Marquette, Santos, and Pomeroy. So we knew what they, they could do. Um, but I thought we made some adjustments at halftime, and we really came out and, and did those things. And uh, it's a new offense. They're learning it. But uh, when we run it, as you can see, it works. So now we have to show them the film. Y'all just run it, and it will be fine. Um, but it was nice to get Mick out there. I stayed under the t – I didn't go over 20 minutes. That was my order from, the ch from Steph. You know, so they was like, get her in. I was like, no, nope, because she got to play the last two minutes of the game. <laughs> and we needed it at that time because her and Avi got that high-low going. Nicole hit some jumpers. Tessa, 16 rebounds. Wow. Ooh. What can we say? Well, you know? <coughs> um, she just a determined young lady and wants to get that basketball. And uh, we could learn from that. <coughs> so. But very proud of the effort. Turnovers, obviously, we have to get those down. But some of those are just flubs, making poor decisions. Those are things we can clean up that are fixable. So we'll take questions. Uh, Coach, why do you think you got off to such a, a slow start? I wish I knew. If I did, I'd probably be a millionaire. I'd sell it to other coaches to figure out. But um, I think some of it is just first game jitters. They know this one counts. So our men, unfortunately, found out last night, you got to come out and play. You got you to play on the defensive end. And we had some nice spurts of stops, uh, and then we scored. We had some transition baskets that we got, and that was nice. Uh, didn't give up any that I remember, so to speak, maybe one or two here and there, but that's our goal, not to give up transition, but to get them. Um, so I think it's just nervous. She's back for the first game. She's a little nervous. I'm nervous. I'm like, get her out. Get her out, please. Get her out. Um, but the, the usual suspects did a great job. Tessa, the 16 rebounds, um, just effort? What's What goes into rebounding from your end? Um, well, it helps when the rest of your team boxes out. So if everyone boxes out, you know, you can go grab the bo boards. So I think that helped a little bit. Um, a lot of them kind of came my way. So, yeah, it's, a, it's effort, but it's also, like, a, it's a team effort as well just because everyone needs to box out in order for me to get it as well. Coach, were you surprised um, when they came out with the press? And how do you think you guys handled the press throughout the uh, the game? No, we, we had film. We knew. I was yelling, watch the press on the free throws. Um, it was a zone press. But once we got past that first line, it was pretty much off to the races. Um, so I wasn't surprised with that. Um, but I thought we did a good job of breaking it. A little sloppy, a little disjointed. But for the most part, we didn't turn it over. So that was good. Michaela, how did it feel to get back out there? And then in the end, to get back out there and make a couple buckets to fight off their rally? Um, I was a little nervous in the beginning, but I mean, after the first like couple of minutes of the game, they kind of like went away. It felt good. I, I was happy to be out there with my teammates and being able to play again. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I could only play 20 minutes, so I really wanted to keep playing, but I know I had to stop. <laughs> but yeah, it was good. Uh, what did Coach tell you at halftime? It seemed like they were you were getting the ball way more to start the second half. What was said during halftime? Um, pretty much just look for me. Um, I mean, they, I don't know, just look for me and I just make quick moves and then go from there and then work in and out. Do you feel, because you're on the limits minute, do you feel a pressure to really make your minutes count and, and put the ball in the basket when you're on the floor? Um, I don't even really think about the minutes. Um, I just have to be patient on offense and defense. Um, because if I think about the minutes, then like I won't be able to focus on what we really need to do. So I don't even think about that. Dakota, it seemed like after you guys settled down, maybe after the first quarter, that their pressure didn't seem to bother you as much, and you broke through it more. How did you adjust from your um, end? <clears throat> Definitely just by slowing down and understanding that we need to run the offense. You know, coaches in my always like run the offense. And she's absolutely right. You know, that's something that I have to recognize on my part. But sometimes it's just going too fast. And, you know, their pressure kind of fast, kind of speeds you up. But, you know, it was on me to make sure that I recognize that and slow down for my team so that we're able to score. Well, we're pleased, Dakota. I mean, I get on her, and I'm on her. Um, but I'm trying to smile when I'm doing it. 
so it doesn't seem so. And, and I know what she can do, and so we're trying to get her to play at a different standard as the point guard because she is the coach on the floor, and sometimes she doesn't know her power. And she doesn't know it, and so I want her to recognize it and really take charge out there. I don't. I'm not over there calling the plays. You know this. I. I want her to do that. I want Tessa. I want the guards to. They're out there. Now, if I want something, I'll call it. But I don't. I'm not big on that. The players play. Let them play. I try not to coach every pass and every dribble. I think I didn't do a great job of that tonight, but I tried. Um, but they 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 know what to do. They just have to slow down and do it. Did you call a high low? three times in a row after they had kind of cut it? <laughs> I think they did it by default one time. Yeah. And I was like, oh, keep doing that. Whatever that is, keep doing it. Instead of popping Avi out, because we do have an offense where the four pops out, but because they're not three point, like last year, Jackie could hit that, you know, but we don't have that four that can, I mean, Marsha took one tonight at a bad time. I, I don't mind her taking it, but she didn't know when to take it. And that wasn't the best time, but she that's a freshman move. So I had to get her out and talk to her. But, um, we just told Avi to stay in that middle and work that because they were so worried about Nicole and Tessa mm -hmm. on the wings, even Dakota, because they can all shoot. They started doing this, and then I was like, whoa, high low. <laughs> One time it was Mick to Avi, and then Avi to Mick, and that worked. I mean, that, that was, I think, six straight points mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so they, sometimes it just it naturally happens on its own, and you keep, you keep doing it, keep doing it. Coach, how do you think the bench played tonight? Um, they struggled. It wasn't the best, um, but I thought Shelly Marble came in and really gave us a spark. And she, I mean, that one move, she kind of, I don't know what she was doing, but she made the basket. <laughs> so um, I think she's learning to be a point guard too. Dakota's her, you know, she's showing her the ropes, but Shelly hadn't played a whole year. So this, she's almost like a freshman. Um, but I think she has the potential to be, I mean, she can pound that ball and get there. She's got to learn change of speed. Hesitation. So her and Dakota got to have a little tutorial. Got to have a little tutorial with uh, Shelly and teach her that stuff. But um, uh, I thought Kayla came in and gave us good minutes. Rosie did a nice job um, coming in. And um, also uh, Marsha. She struggled a little bit tonight. But freshmen are going to hit that wall. So, But Marsha is a smart kid. She wants to play. She wants to get better. And she's going to take the tape. And I know she's going to do better the next game. So. But we, we're hungry to learn. We're hungry to see what we need to work on. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of fun now to figure it out and try to get it straightened out before the next game. So we're going to watch and just do better, even better the next time. Uh, Coach, uh, after last game, you and Nicole were kind of touching on how last year you, you didn't close out games pretty well. And uh, except for a little run in the, in the fourth quarter, you guys seemed like you played better as the game went on. Uh, why do you think that was tonight? Well, it helps to have. Mick and Avi and Shelly, who did not play. Rosie, they did not play last year. Uh, who am I missing? Marsha. Mar well, Marsha wasn't here. Mm -hmm. So just by them being out there, by default, you're going to finish. But these, that's 35 points sitting over, 50 points sitting <coughs> over there um, that didn't play. So some of that takes care of itself because they're healthy. And I tried to, if, we, if they go on a run, to use my time I, that way. I think I had to call, well, I called one to get Mick out, but I called one because we just didn't look. They had, I think they hit a three and then a two, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, boy, here we go. So <coughs> some of that's on us as a staff to make sure that they are organized. Some of that is they have to recognize, don't come down and do these crazy things. If we have the momentum, don't mess it up. So we all trying to get better with that, and I think they did a great job. Dakota settled down. She did a great job. So I was happy with their efforts. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.